episode 26 of Virtual Companion Camp. Now, it is almost summertime, so we only have two episodes left of Virtual Companion Camp because we are getting ready for real companion camp. So we are still having camp this summer. We are limiting it to 10 campers per week just to ensure everybody's safety. Um, and we already have some weeks filling up. So the first week is already full. The second week, the week of June 8th, we still have some spots left available, um, as well as some more down in the rest of the summer. So make sure to fill up um, our spots, sign up, because we do only have 10 spots each week. Now, today I am here in our cat room and we have a very cool episode for you guys. We are making um, some pet bow ties and giving you tips about how to take the perfect pet photos. All right, so let's get started. So to make a pet bow tie, um, we just have some fabric that I already pre-cut to the measurements. And then you're going to need um, two rubber bands or you could use hair bands, um, your pet's collar, and then the only other thing you need is hot glue. And then scissors, of course, to cut the fabric and a ruler to measure. So this um, fabric needs to be, and this is, keep in mind, for a small bow tie for a cat. Um, so if you are making a bow tie for a dog, it will be larger. These measurements, however, are seven inches long by three inches wide for our main piece. And then our smaller piece is about um, four and a half inches long and about an inch and a quarter wide. And you are gonna trim this down a bit. So the first thing you're gonna do, take your large piece and then we're going to fold it in half, or not in half, but we're going to fold one side towards the center and then the other side towards the center and we're going to glue them down. So I'm going to make one line of glue down the center to begin with and then I'm going to fold down the side and secure it to the middle. All right, and then I'm going to press down and make sure that that is secure. And then I'm going to make another line of glue and fold the other one down in the middle as well. All right. There we go. Now I'm just gonna fold it over. So they are both glued down in the center. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold um, this into about in thirds, making these two pieces reach the center again, and I'm going to glue them down. So I'm going to put one line of glue in the center again, fold one piece down, and then I'm going to glue on top of that and fold the next piece down. All right, there we go. All right, so we're on our way to having a really cute little bow tie. Now to fold the bow tie, what you need to do is fold it in half and then fold the sides up again. So I folded it in half and then I'm going to fold the sides towards the front once on that side and then fold this side towards the front again. Now, here we have a cute little bow ties getting ready. And this is where you take your rubber band or a hair band, any one will do. And if you do not have a rubber band or a hair band, you could use um, some string, just anything to fasten this in place. Let me wrap it around one more time. And so that is, the center is secured. And we have a cute little bow tie in the works. Here's some. All right, so next we're gonna take our small piece and then I'm going to do the same thing that I showed you guys earlier. So I'm gonna fold both sides in on each other and that's gonna cover this middle piece. All right, 
So here we go, one line down the center. Then I'm gonna fold this piece over. And then I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna put my line of glue. And then I'm gonna fold this piece over to the center. It is kind of small, so. There we go. All right, so this is gonna cover the center of our bow tie. All right, so I'm gonna put glue all the way around this, around the entire center where you secured it with your rubber bands. Then I'm just gonna start with one end and go all the way around. And then I'm gonna put a little bit more glue on that fabric that wrapped around and secure it down one more time. And then I'm just gonna hold it and let it dry. And then I have some excess, so I'm gonna snip off the excess. All right, and save this piece, we're gonna use it next. All right, so now that I have the center of the bow tie in place, the next thing we're going to make is a way to attach it to the collar. So I'm going to turn it over to the back side and I have our spare piece of tiny fabric. Then I'm going to take my uh, second rubber band and I'm going to uh, loop it around my finger three times and then I'm going to put the fabric through. Now, this is how I'm going to secure um, this rubber band onto the back of the bow tie so that you can um, attach it to a collar. So now I'm just gonna put one dot of glue on each side of that bow tie's middle end on the back. Then I'm going to put the fabric and um, rubber band around here on the back and hold it down in place so that the glue dries and this is what you're going to loop around your collar. So next you're going to take your collar, open it up, and then you can just slide the rubber band through your collar. There we have it and that has it all secured in place. So now you can take a great photo of your pet with this cute collar on. And if it's coming a little bit loose, you can take your rubber band and loop it around the collar one more time to make sure that it doesn't slide out of place. And now it's very secure, fastened, and you have just made a very cute bow tie for your pet. Alright, go. Hi guys, I'm here with one of our adoptable cats, Mama Minty. She is two years old and I'm going to share with you guys some tips on how to take um, some good pictures of your pets. And you can see she's got one of our bow ties on and I have her little son over here. Um, his name is Bradley. He's down here playing with a toy. And he has on the other bow tie. So we have pictures of all of our adoptable animals on our website. And we take our, the photos of the animals here. And for the cats, that means um, giving them a cute area to photograph them. So we have a little blanket up here for Mama Minty, and I'm going to put her bed up here um, so that they're nice and cozy because whenever you're taking a picture of your pet, it's good to have them in their natural habitat, um, somewhere where they're already comfortable. Now another important tip to taking a picture of your animal is to give them um, 
something to look at because you want to capture their eyes. So I have a little toy right here, a crinkly toy. And um, you can use a toy that makes noise or maybe a feather wand for a cat um, to capture their eyes. So I'm gonna move this and see if, oh. <laughs> she wants probably to come down and get pet. There you go. Minty. <laughs> now another tip for taking um, the perfect picture of your pet is to get on their level. So if you're taking a picture of your dog, for example, it might be a good idea to get on the ground um, so that way you are on your animal's level. Another tip is to have good lighting. So make sure that um, your flash isn't on to avoid any red eye. And if you can, take a picture outside or by a window. And I'm holding the um, toy behind the camera so that she might look. But she's over there interested in that crinkly toy that I gave her. And here's her son coming up to see what's going on. Here's little Bradley. And these two cats came in together around the end of April. And they are very cute. Let's see if I can get him to look. There we go. Another tip um, when it comes to taking pictures of your cats is to have patience because, you know, cats and dogs, they like to move around. So have patience and you will definitely get the shot. And I put some little treats up here for Bradley. And those are the ones that we made um, that I showed you guys how to cook your own cat treats. And he really likes them. He was eating them up earlier. And there's our little mama girl. Hi, baby. Another tip is to capture your cat or dog's personality. So getting them to play and getting some action shots of your pet is a great idea as well. Um, so that their personalities will come out in the picture. And you can even get their favorite toy out and have them play with it and take pictures of them that way. There he is, looking at the camera. Alright guys, so that concludes all of our tips for taking the perfect pet pictures. So remember guys, um, we only have two more episodes of Virtual Companion Camp um, because we are getting ready for camp to start in the summer. And we have 11 weeks available all from June 1st through August 14th. Um, so we do have sessions for 11 weeks during the whole summer. So make sure to send us an email to sign up. And remember we are um, limiting it to 10 kids per week to ensure everybody's safety. So we hope to see you guys this summer. Thank you guys for tuning in and we'll see you guys soon. Bye.